This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we talk an iPad app and shooting sync. The show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Now, before we get started, I got a bit of an announcement for you guys that I don't think you're going to like. There will be no episode of Film Riot or Film State next week. The reason being, it's my one-year wedding anniversary. So I'm taking my lovely lady person to L.A. for a little vacation. Now, I know what you're thinking. What? A woman actually stayed married to you for an entire year? I know, right? I can't much believe it myself. I think it's my man musk. I just waft it to her. And she falls deeply in love with me over and over. It's also a part of our yearly Film Riot Triune Films break so we can recoup and get back in touch with our inner us's. Or whatever. But once we return on October 17th, we will be kicking off Bloodtober for the final two weeks of October. So we'll be having a bloody good time once I return from my trip from the land of Hollywood. Maybe while I'm there, I'll be all like, hey, Spielberg, let's be friends. And then he'll be like, oh, Ryan, you're the son I always wanted. And then we'll hug. We'll make movies together. But probably not. Email. Ryan, I noticed in your losses behind the scenes footage, you guys were using the iPad as a slate. Can you tell me how you did this? Yep, I will and I can. Can and will. Will can. Now the way I did this was through an app called Movie Slate, which is for the iPad, but I think for the iPhone as well. And I found it because I knew we needed something more proficient while shooting losses. I needed to be able to consolidate the roles of VTR, Slate, and Script Supervisor into one position that could take notes quickly. Happily, I found this bad boy. So now I'm going to show you the app and how it works. But to keep it more exciting, I hired a hot female model to do all the app work. First of all, you have the basic function of a Slate, but much easier to set up and change as you go. No need for chalk markers or erasers, etc. So if you look up here, you have your slate number, your roll number, which is what roll of film you're on or what card you're on if you're using a DSLR or for me, what red mag I was on. And then finally, your scene and take numbers. And these are easily changeable just by touching them and bazammy. Now, as we move down, we could set the title of the production we're working on and then the names of the director and cinematographer. Once done with that, we move over and set our frames per second the date of our shoot. Now we move down again and you see cam and the number one. Now if you're doing a multi-cam shoot, this is where you will indicate which camera is capturing that particular shot. Then next to that, you have a selection for interior shoot, exterior shoot, night, or MOS. And MOS means without sound. Another extremely cool thing about this app, which I did not use, but I'm sure I will use soon, is that you can actually sync the time code to your camera through a wire or Bluetooth. However, you do need to buy extra software for that. Now for all that alone, I was completely sold on this app, but there's a lot more that made me giddy. For instance, once you have everything set and your cam op calls rolling, you will tap the clapper here and well, pow, you're rolling. And we now go to this screen, which my VTR slash script slash slate girl can now make all the notes I need to help me out in post. You can also make audio notes by clicking here and recording. So if we finish a shot I really loved, I'll tell her to circle it and she will tap circle take. What's cool about this is later on you can go to the history tab and you'll see that the take that I had circled is marked right here. So I know in post which to go right to. You can also make additional notes here like rating the video and audio quality and even just marking continuity things down like if he held the cup in his left hand. So later on if you need to, you can call that up. You also have a focus card on the app and my personal favorite thing, camera data. Now, if you ever have to come back to a shot later, you need to keep notes on your camera settings so that you can match the look you had from a previous day. And if you click this tab here, you can add all the camera settings so you can revisit it later on when you need to. And I love that so much. Used it just tons and tons. But that is the app, which is more than worth its $20 price tag in my opinion. And now for those of you who are undoubtedly thinking it, no, I have no affiliation with this app or its makers, and I was not even approached to do this review. I just found it when searching for something like this for losses, and I loved it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys, because I figured it would help you with your productions as much as it did mine. So if you want to check it out, go to this link and enjoy. I highly recommend it. What are you fart baskets doing? Trying to come up with a new ad for domain.com. Or film riot. Film riot. Ha. Film riot. The film riot. How long have you been in here? Three days. Film riot. Seriously? Domain.com and film riot. How hard could it possibly be? Harder than you think. 
It has to be both comical and informative. Make you giggle while pointing out how Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find domain names instead of a website. Plus, point out that domain transfers to Domain.com are only $7.61. And if you use the promo code FILMRIOT, you get 15% off your domain purchase or transfer. That's only $6.47 for a domain transfer. No f I know math. Wait, I've got an idea. Josh and Stark can be standing outside, and I'll come out all like, Hey Stark, you should use Domain.com, and he'll be all like, Nah. Then I pull out my samurai sword and start hacking him into bits, while Josh is all like, Oh sweet God, open your cloud of mercy and stop this. That's morbid. And it has nothing to do with Domain.com. Did you miss the exposition where I told him to use Domain.com? That's not exposition. And it's morbid. You just say things that I say. What? I say things that are good, and you say dumb things. It's two times. Hurt my feelings today. I got another idea. I don't want it. I'm curious. Josh is on the computer, getting a domain from Domain.com, and all of a sudden, a little ninja comes up and starts hacking in a piece with a samurai sword. Don't piss off little ninjas. That's worse than the last idea. You killed me even though I was already using Domain.com. Yes, but you didn't use the promo code FILMRIANT. Bam. Marketing. Nice. Not nice! You're impossible to please. No, I just want a good idea. Then just do an ad about trying to come up with an ad. He did that already. Not with me. True. It's genius. Could go viral. No. It will go viral. It yes! will! It yes! will! Yes! This is it! <laughs> my God! This is the <laughs> one for me! I'm living the yeah! best way! Woo! Yeah! The first thing, Emily! I... I'm confused. Did we already shoot it? Logo. Okay, Coolio with dreads. Also, I got a tweet on Twitter. Ryan, please, what's your audio recording unit like for the current shooting you're doing with the Red Epic? Okay, so what I got from that is you want to talk about my unit. <laughs> I recorded all the sounds separately from the video when shooting losses. Why? Because I had to. The Red Epic does not currently support recording audio in camera. It will in a future firmware update, but right now, no. So I use my H4N Zoom as our field recorder, which worked great, but I wish we would have had the time and resources for a field mixer since you can't really mix on the fly with H4N Zoom. So I had some peaking in production sound a few times, which is... <laughs> Major bummer. Now to handle recording video and audio separately on the day, I would call out for audio to start recording. Then the person running Slate would call out the shot and take numbers. Then I would start recording the camera and she would hit the clapper button. The clapper would then supply us with an audio and visual cue that I will use for syncing the clips later. Scene one, take one. So now once we're in post-production, we grab the audio and video clip that match, which we can be sure that they do since we'll be hearing Amber call out the shot and take numbers in the audio and see that it matches on the slate in the video. And now to sync them, we just find the point in the video that the clapper connects and then line that up with the audio when we hear the clapper clap. And now we have audio in sync with video without Justin Timberlake. Bam. That's a 90s boy band joke. Kind of dumb. No offense though. I said, no offense, you can't be mad. I know, that's what I'm turmoiling with. Because I really want to put my hand down your throat and then find your little nubblies and rip them out. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? But you said no offense. Logo. Well, okay, babe. I love you and I'll miss you forever in shizzle. Actually, I will miss you because it's going to be like a week before we see each other again. There's no episodes uh, Film Ryan and Film State next week, as I told you, but we will be back on the 17th for some Bloodtober action. Oh, and another thing. As I told you on Monday, we are taking pre-orders on the new shirt designs, and the pre-orders are $2 off. But we are closing pre-orders tomorrow night, which is Friday night, October 7th. So if you want to save $2 on the shirt, go here and check it out. But that's it. I'll see you guys in a week when I get a new partner who's a crazy dude that's half suicidal and trying to hide his Australian accent. <laughs>